What's up everybody? It's your boy, Meme here. Uh, you may be wondering why this video is 60 FPS, uh, despite me saying a few days ago that Leo the PO is going to be 30 FPS from now on. And that's actually because we're playing BMNG Drive today, as you could maybe see in the thumbnail or title. I don't know, I haven't assumed what it will be yet. Uh, I just full screen and unpause. Now, I apologize for the lag. Normally it runs at a smooth frame rate. Uh, I'm playing with the controller, by the way, because the controls are wonky. Normally I'm playing with a smooth frame rate, right? But uh, right now, uh, I'm gonna turn this down on my end a tiny bit. And also, hold on. I'm gonna turn the audio down a bit on gear. There we go. Uh, so, I, I would rather have the game audio be too quiet than too loud, you know? Uh, you know, so I've been playing this game for a bit, and, uh, oh yeah, so normally this runs at the smoothest frame rate, but right now I've just been able to, I'm gonna crash into this. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, normally I've been playing, <laughs> okay. I've, I play at a smooth frame rate, but with OBS, it runs slower, so this is almost definitely not 60 FPS, but, uh, you know, it's playable. Uh, by the way, I'm on all highest settings right now, but let me just say, this game is phenomenal looking. This is an amazing looking game. I, I love how this game looks. Look at that, even in the mirrors, you can see everything in the mirrors. I'm gonna crash into here. You know, normally with this game, I, I just drive around and if I crash, I crash, but, uh, you know, I gotta make good YouTube content, so, uh, you know, I gotta be crashing my car all the time. Uh, you know, playing this game with a mouse and keyboard, today is actually the only, it's actually the first day I played with a mouse and keyboard on this, because I realized, um, no, it's actually the first day I played with a controller on this, because I realized, hey, these controls are really bad. Like, they aren't horrible, but they're, like, not phenomenal controls, you know? Um, I'm gonna go over there, I've actually never gone over there. Um, I realized that they're like not phenomenal controls, so I decided to do it with a controller, and uh, you know I wasn't expecting it to work because for some reason uh, controllers haven't been working on this computer. I'm not sure what the issue was, but uh, they actually ended up working. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'm doing it with a controller. And that means I'll probably be able to do emulators at some point. Well, probably very soon. Why is there just a building here? Where is this? It said automation in the front, but I can't imagine this is like some robot making company. This isn't like Silicon Valley or anything. However, they need an entire dam to get it working so... You can survive with that. We're good. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is like a big old automation company. How do we, how do we get out of there? There's a way you can get to the mountain. Actually, can I get to the racetrack? I've also never been on this racetrack. I've, I've also only been playing on this map for today. It's very fun to go up to that dam and then fall off the dam. These maps are just behemothly massive. They're so large. I'm horrible at driving, by the way. I haven't used a controller, like, unironically in, it, like, a few years, so I'm not too sure how to drive well. I'm used to... Keyboards? So I play keyboards like how I, I play controllers like how I play like amp, like keyboards. Uh, so basically, I'm trying to get used to it, but basically whenever I uh, move around with the... <sighs> that was bad. Basically whenever I move around with the joystick, I kind of just move it directly to the ends. Uh, and uh, apparently that's bad. Oh, we're kind of drifting to the right here. I just crash into something, then we can reset. I'll crash into the wall here. Ah, it wasn't too bad. Oh well. Let's go up to that dam. I want to show you guys this dam. Uh, uh, be right back, everybody. Sorry about that, everybody. My, my mom had to look out the window. And, uh, you know, I guess I was mom reveal. You know, that's what my mom looks like. Uh... But anyways, yeah, otherwise, going up here is going to be a pretty smooth drive. It's going to be pretty relaxing, I suppose. Despite my, you know, terrible driving. 
Now I might try using a controller at the Euro Truck Simulator. I'll see how that goes. I probably shouldn't be going up this fast. Now I'm gonna stop. Why'd I go to the side like that? Why'd I do that? I very intentionally did that. I totally didn't put my joystick to the side. I don't know why I did that. No, no, you go up to this dirt road here, and then you kind of just go whichever road goes up, and then you wind up at the dam. For breakfast today, uh, I had a big breakfast with like sausage and stuff. It was very tasty. Um, for lunch, uh, I think I might skip out on lunch because breakfast was large, but uh, for dinner, I'll know what we're going to have. How did that not affect my car at all? <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember the game looking this pretty, but it turns out it was a very nice looking game. Either that or the people I watched play it um, just didn't have their graphic settings all that way up. Because my graphic settings are on highest right now. So I guess this game is very well optimized, because it's not as if my computer is like a supercomputer or anything. You know, once you get to the top of the dam, there are actually some railings that prevent you from falling down completely, so you actually gotta jump off, like, a bit before then, before you hit the railings, or you could just, like, back up and then do it, but, you know, then you have less momentum. First time I saw this view, I, audibly, I audibly, audibly went, like, wow. I said, wow. It's such a pretty view, despite the weird anti-aliasing. Can't imagine how good this game would look in 4K. Right? You can go down there, it looks like a jump off, but you can actually just go down there and go to a different area. I think I went down there, but I forgot it's down there. Oh, you go through the dam and then you can go to the other side. Now, uh, yeah, see, this is what I mean. So if you look up there, I'm actually not sure if you can see it, you'll be able to see that there's a little hole in the railing, so you might actually be able to go through that. I haven't done it before though. It might totally just be a glitch as well. Oh, that's not big enough. Is that really the hole? No, there's gotta be a hole up here. No, okay, well in that case, I haven't really seen what's up here. I haven't seen what's past the dam, so. I guess instead we'll just explore some more. Hydroelectric Caffeine Co- <laughs> It's a coffee company? Not yet. Whoops. Oh, well no, that's a dent. That's a shame.
was wicked. Can I go down this mountain? Can I do that? Well, I guess instead I just did like a shortcut, but... Yeah, see, and then you just go back down this mountain. I wonder if I can just like... Can I try and go back up there? This is a truck, I could go up there. Right? Okay, it turns out trucks cannot go up almost vertical angles. That was bad. But, uh, hey, it still drives. Okay, I'm gonna try and go through that hole that we saw earlier in the railing. like and then we'll just fly down there I suppose oh my god you're kidding me fun stuff and then just break. There you go. Control, we do a little trolling. Okay. God, that's irritating. All right. What other maps are there? <laughs> you know, there are campaigns. Let's see what this is. Driver's training, sure. Welcome to ETK Driver Experience Center. My name is Mike and I'll be your instructor for this course. Let's start out nice and easy. All you have to do is accelerate and then stop before you hit the barriers. Make sure you brake when you reach the stop signs. Okay. I think I'm stupid. Okay. That's what you guys mean. Nice. First. Nice. 
drive like a pro in a straight line, apparently. In the unlikely event that the road is not straight, you may need to stop accelerating and use your current steering wheel. Try here on the roundabout, but watch out for the slippery area. Okay. Ooh. Oh. This doesn't turn as well as I wish it did. Come on. Ah, failed. Can I can I redo this? Yeah, free try. Because I was being zero ahead and I don't know how cars work. I've actually never driven a car in my life. Fun fact. You know, when I learn how to drive a car, there will definitely be Leo DiPio car videos. Trust, trust me on that, or I'll be in my car and talking. I'll be like the Luke Smith of not crazy people. <laughs> Third, okay. Nice turn, alright. It's time to make you drive a real car. What? I was driving a car. What's a what's the difference between that car and a real car? What time is it? It's 11.23 a.m. It looks like. What kind of driving course is this? Um, Shifting lanes at highway speeds require the general hand of the steering wheel. Do you have what it takes control in an 80s supercar? I mean, maybe? Why, why does it look like that? Is it gonna crash in the background there? That'll be funny. Let's see if it crashes, come on. It'll be funny, come on. That fence is way further away than I thought it would be. Less better than nothing. Alright. I don't know what he said I should do next. My bad. You can't take any corner at any speed, stick to the speed limits on those signs to guarantee your success. You say kilometers an hour, I don't know how to say that. Oh, 25. Right. So 
basically just go through those barrier things, is what you're saying. Sixty mile, forty, forty miles an hour. Now fifty miles an hour. Sixty miles an hour. Let's go! Okay. Man, driving is hard. I guess this is probably more realistic, but I wish it was less realistic, so that uh, I could do some sick drifts and I don't crash my car immediately afterwards. I'm going to be here for a bit. Oh, I apologize if this bitrate is bad, by the way. to slide around a harp, a hairpin, just like in the movies. I tried to do that. It just stops. The car just stops. Okay, I'm not doing this one. How do I... Oh, that's how you go out. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna crash into here. Boom! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm sorry, man. It 
Italy? That sounds like fun. Runway. Let's, let's drive some fast cars. Let's go for like a fast car. Why is this lagging out so bad? Oh, it's loading everything still. Hello, stop loading things. I, I want to spawn in a fast car. I don't realize how many things that actually has to load on. Okay, hurry done loading. We're good? Okay, cool. Uh... This seems like the fastest car in the game because it has a lot of strikes on it. I think that was supposed to happen. There you go. Although, it's gonna be kind of moot because I might stop playing a bit after those. Okay, I'm gonna try and do like a big old, uh, what if we crash into one of those cars there? Also, you could do slow motion by, um, oh, what's that trip off the end? You could do slow motion by doing that. So then, if you really want to see this car crashing in slow motion, you'd be like, you can do this. However, uh, you, I don't think you can handle slow motion on the controller, so. Watch out! Uh oh! Parking brake turns on the the bumper turns on the parking brake. All right. Okay. Enough slow motion. Oh, over here. Uh oh. Well, that wasn't too exciting looking. Okay, what about... I go into environment. Negative earth. Yeah, just like... Oh, whoops. How bad was that? Oh, nothing happened. And then... Just sun gravity. And then I try and control it. Uh oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Okay. Yeah, no, you can't really play with some gravity sound. Uh oh, I don't think that's good.
Let's go back to Earth's gravity. Let's see if we can still drive once. Oh yeah, we can. Barely. All right. One more map. One more map. Oh, what? Oh, you can go into first person. That's fun. Okay, so what's around here? We've got the clutch, the, the drive selector or something. Oh, we got the second seat. Uh, back here we got the engine. You know, something I've never gotten about past cars is how they always move the engine in the back. Why not have it in the front? Is it like if you crash into something? Um, over here we have... I see. Oh, you can also walk around. There's like a thing you can do to where you can just like walk. Uh, I don't know why you would want to have first person mode in this driving game, but... Let's try and do first person in that map I was playing at the beginning. No, not vehicles. Bus routes? What? You know, okay, I'm actually done with this. I'm done playing this game. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop playing this game now. Alright, yeah. See ya, dude. I'm sorry about the bitrate if it was bad.